Welcome to the introduction of the PowerBlox COVID-19 kit. Today we will show you how with our COVID-19 kit you can produce sodium hypochlorite uh, solution that can then be used for disinfection of rural hospitals or for purified drinking water. The PowerBlox COVID-19 kit includes one of our PBX200 devices like we have it here. It's a solar battery system that directly delivers 230 volt AC like a standard socket on the wall. Um, it includes also a solar module here with 315 watt uh, that can charge the box and further one of the water kits to produce the disinfection liquid. Uh, the water bag includes uh, mainly uh, this device here. This is a, electro, a special electrolysis device that together with uh, some standard salt water that we produce with table salt, we can over an electrolysis process produce two liters of uh, disinfection liquid. Needs around two and a half hours for two liters and we can produce 24 hours with the system if we charge it during the day with the solar. Let's start with the introduction of the PowerBlox device itself, how to run that. It's very simple in fact, you have one of these standard cables here that you can connect with the solar module. So on the back of the solar module you have these two connectors that you plug to the cable like this. Sure this solar module has then to uh, be mounted on the roof so that it is uh, the whole day in the sun. And then on the back you have a special solar socket that you can, where you can put the cable you just click it in and once it is in, it already starts to charge the power blocks. Then the power blocks itself to start is very simple. It just has one main switch. You switch it on and then after a few seconds the power blocks uh, will be started. It starts to check itself and once it is green, uh, once you have a display here that is green, then it's fully operational and you have 230 volts on the AC sockets. If um, the, the, uh, the display shows orange or red, then the battery is quite discharged. So you should let the solar module a uh, bit uh, charging the, the whole unit. After a few while, after a few hours, the power blocks will be recharged and then can be used to produce the disinfection liquid. So let's produce some disinfection liquid. For the first step, what we will do there is we produce some very strong salt water. It's a saturate, saturated brine, how we call that. And for that, we need a cleaned uh, a bottle like this, so a standard PET bottle, and we need some table salt. We fill this bottle with salt, so we put all the salt in the bottle. For one liter, we need around 400 grams of salt. Now we fill the, uh, the bottle with water. Then we shake and mix the bottle for around 15 minutes, so it should really be fully shaked so that all salt that can dissolve is dissolved in the water. After shaking 15 minutes um, you will see that there is still some salt on the bottom. That is right, if, if, every, uh, if all salt is dissolved in the, in the water, then there is not, it was not enough salt. Then you have to fill in more salt and shake again for 15 minutes. In the next step, we now start with the electrolysis process to produce the solution. For that, we have to take 190 milliliters from this saturated salt water and put it into the container. For that, we use this syringe that is in the water kit. And you see here in maximum, you can take 60 milliliters. 
So we th take three times 50 milliliters and one time 40, so we get the 190 milliliters. Once we have the 190 milliliters of saturated salt water in the container, we fill it up with uh, normal tap water till two liters. So there is a two liter mark here. Uh, please fill it up till this two liter mark. Let's now start the electrolysis process. For that, we need the uh, Vata device that, uh, is, mm, that has three parts. First part, is the power supply that we connect to the power blocks. The next part is the controller device here. Uh, the controller device has uh, a timer included. Once we start the process and we connect it, um, it starts, this LED starts uh, to, to show green. And then once the process is finished, after two and a half hours, it will switch into uh, orange blinking. That means we can use the liquid now. On the back, we have this button, and this button resets the timer. So once you, you want to restart over, just connect this button or push this button, and then it starts again in, uh, showing green. That means if uh, the, the next two and a half hour, the liquid is produced. The third part is then the electrolysis device itself um, that will be put in our container. So now let's connect these three parts together. So we connect the power supply with our controller device here, and then the controller device with the electrolysis unit. And then as a last step, we put the electrolysis unit into our container. So then as next, make sure that the power blocks is running, like it here, and it's, it's showing green, so it has enough energy to produce. And then the only step is to connect the power supply with the power blocks. If you connect it, then the control device will start to show green um, after two or three seconds. Once the process starts, uh, you will indicate that the electrolysis unit, uh, unit uh, produces some bubbles. That means everything is well, and you can let it run for the next two and a half hours. Please look that the room is well ventilated, um, so all gases can go away that are produced during the process. After two and a half hours of uh, electrolysis, the disinfection liquid is finished. So we show it on the uh, orange blinking uh, light on, on the controller box. Then what you do is just disconnect the water system and pull out the electrolysis unit and clean it with uh, uh, water normally, and then it can be used for the next electrolysis. We can use the disinfection liquid um, for cleaning and disinfecting hospitals, what we do is these two liters of disinfection liquid, we mix with four liters of water. So we get six liters of a disinfection unit that directly can be used uh, for cleaning and disinfection uh, infecting hospitals. If you like to use the disinf uh, disinfection liquid uh, to disinfect hands, just mix this two liter of a solution with 20 liters of water. So you create a, a disinfection solution for hands. Then wash your hands in this liquid for around 30 seconds to disinfect your hands. Very important is that this uh, disinfection liquid can only be used for around 24 hours. Then it has to be produced new. If you like to use the, the disinfection liquid for anything else, like disinfect wounds or disinfect clothes or anything, please read the manual. Uh, the right concentration and mixture is all described in the manual. Thank you very much for your interest in our COVID-19 power blocks kit. If you like to order it, 
just push on the button that you see on the screen um, or uh, just order it from one of our distributors in Africa. Thanks a lot.